Did you see it there? The dermatologist. I was like, you only need to shower twice a week. Um, sorry. And I was like, please no. No. Please don't. What? Don't. You only need to wash Does that your hair. Well, wash your hair and showering are two different things. I know. Yeah, yeah. Just saying. So, yeah, I do. It's supposed to be like you wash your hair, and then the other day, the day you have off, you just rinse your hair so you don't strip it of the natural have, oils. I don't know what off mm -hmm. really means. I, I rinse just, my hair every day. Up. See, I don't rinse my hair every no. day, but I also don't rinse every day. I don't. Uh, you know, look at the schedule and go, what is it? <laughs> I need it's just to. kind of like, did I just wash my hair with soap and shampoo? I'm not gonna do that again. I'm not gonna destroy my beautiful hair. But if you're stinky, stinky. if you're yucky, I mean, that's, you might as here's, well go one more here's, my, here's my logic behind it. If you're dirty, wash yourself. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good, right? Like a, a dermatologist, I even believe like a dermatologist would be like, we're well, only do twice a day. It's like, right, probably for like your skin, but it's yeah. probably ignoring that you smell. The smell. Right? Yeah, it's yeah, probably the, healthy. It's the right. societal standards you have to work Correct. Mm -hmm. And some standards are outlandish, I agree. Yes. I think not being stinky because you don't bathe isn't outlandish. I, I think we as a society can bathe who is our we? bodies. The royal we. The oh, world. no, I meant who is we. Hi, welcome to Off Topic. Hey. I'm Michael. Hey. We got Lindsay, Alfredo, and Joe. So oh, very smooth. Oh, very smooth. Yeah. Well, that way it starts naturally like they think we were talking before yeah. and we yeah, pretend sure. drink like really we're starting a conversation, we're like, but really. Script says dermatology. Script says Joe's top of hair is wider than his bottom of hair. Mention it as the intro is playing. <laughs> it's very And then poopy. Joe said, that's what happens when I use shampoo. And conditioner. Thus the conversation. I well, that's how it unfolded. Ever since I fucking started growing out my hair, I realized I can't like wash it every day, so. Does it go? It goes well, well so yeah. it, with longer hair, the oils and stuff get trapped more, so and it produces more oil. Yep. So then your head actually gets like itchier and, and drier. And yeah. Become a grease weird. trap. Yeah. Dude, try having psoriasis on your scalp. That's <laughs> oh yeah, yuck city. Fucking horrible. That stinks. Your head just burns. Like why does my head burn? So then you scrub it hard and then it burns more because mm -hmm. you scratch in. And the then you psoriasis. go, why did I do that? I yeah, and then, then you, you have soap and guts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But not anymore, not for now. You got any medication? I mean, yeah. look, it comes and goes. Yeah. We go through these hoops, I get it for a couple months. And then he goes, I haven't done then it for I gotta, a couple months. Then I gotta fight the man. Yep. Well, we're the insurance saying, it's man, summer. The, You've been outside, that's me. helped. The, the pharmacy my juice. Man. Yeah, I need my juice. The summer has helped because UV helps. light, thank you. Of course. Name, yeah. name <laughs> brand. Oh, UV light helps oh, right. psoriasis? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm the complete opposite with my stuff. When it's hot out, it's the worst. Well, yeah, hot isn't sunlight, just so you know. No, I mean, like, no. I understand, but UV light, it doesn't have to be 100 degrees out. True, true. Just, like, by the window is good. But I have been beach boy this year. So I, it's been... Dude. I am probably the tannest I've ever been in my life. So much in the water this summer. Yeah, and it's very little beach, but it's beach-like. We, yeah, yeah. we had some beach. We had some beach, but I'm saying we, we have, have mostly beach, standing like, in my backyard. It's like, it mostly is. It's like every other weekend we're at the pool. Oh, you're at the weekend every other pool. <laughs> or, uh, whatever I said, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every other pool, you're at the weekend. Yeah. Uh, we're that at the was... pool three okay, days man. a week, probably. Oh, really? Well, we got various options, you know. It's just true. like the community pool. Well, we just far pools. We just uh, <laughs> we just picked up the keys to our community pool. Mm -hmm. Finally decided to get it. Nice. And uh, we picked it out. It's nice. Nice. It's was got it... like a little. Oh, it's got it's got like a. Uh, you know, got, got some, some water. Got some water. Got some mm. laps area. Ideally, you, know, it's fun. you always gotta have laps that no one uses. Right, and so got I got sweet, so then I can use okay. it. Your amenities key. Did you have that when you moved in? Like, was it an option when you moved in? Originally? It was like no. contact the office and go pick it up, and then we just. Which you, yeah, I assume it's a key card. Yeah, yeah. it's a key card, okay. and we just never did it. Right, because yeah, we, we, we don't and care. And then Jackie got a little taste of the the summer life, and it was like, we gotta get our damn key cards. And I was like, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your What's your situation? What do you mean, my situation? You well, obviously, yeah. something's going on there. Pulling water? What situation? No, you're just asking about the key card. Yeah. Oh, no, I was just asking because I haven't had a community center in a while because the house I had in Colorado was brand new, so they didn't have a community center. Not yet. And then where we live that, now is That's also crazy, new, though. If it's brand new, shouldn't happen. it have a community no, center? No, because the community center always goes up most last? of the time. Like, that gets or in opened the after the community? Yeah. They How do you have a houses? community without a community center? Where do you go? Where's the middle? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Where's the event space? And then apartment pools, are, they're always way too busy. 
like always. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and so yeah, our apartment pool going. was busy. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. way yeah. busier, which is crazy because the community pool is much nicer, mm -hmm. generally speaking. Yeah. And it's way less busy. And but you know, it's because blows have, my mind. Because people have pools. That's true. People There's do that. have pools. It's really hot, nice. but you think you'd want to go to the pool in the middle of the day. But I do think that's why, like, te in the very Texan-like way, it's like it's too hot to go outside and dip in this water that'll yeah. cool me off. That's stay inside. Also, they have like that's crazy. <clears throat> I think that's another reason I've been outside so much this year. This is so it's damn hot. hot. Mm -hmm. It's insanely hot. And I just like put me in water. I've been manipulating my hot tub for like a month and a half now. Yeah. Every day I have to do it. If I forget, it shoots up. Uh, because it's just so hot. I, it doesn't run, right? It'll run automatically to filter it, but um, it's not heating. And I come home and it's like 95 degrees. And it's, oh. which normally is fine. Hot tubs are usually 95 to 100, right. but you also go on it when it's not hot as fuck. Yeah. And so now, every time I say hot tub, I mean, well, my big tub of water that I've cooled to turn into a little pool. Yeah. Because if I if I turn the electricity <laughs> off all day, even though it doesn't heat when it, when it agitates the water from the filtration, mm -hmm. it keeps the heat. Or, or it actually makes it hotter. Yeah. So if you turn it off, it drops. And then the second I get home, because I don't want to uncover it all day, I open it, which also lets the heat out. So every night by 9 or 10, it's like 80 degrees. And then it's a pool I get in. So I was laughing about that. I'm usually, I've been working more from home now. We have the kids, and we just worked it out well where I can cover a lot of my VTubing responsibilities from home. So uh, we've worked this system where you guys, growing up in the 90s, I'm sure you also had your parents call you and they're like, take out the chicken from the freezer, let it unthaw, so then when I come home, I can make dinner. And you were screwed if you didn't do that. You were totally in trouble. This is our thawed chicken. Michael goes, open the hot tub. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Baby, I got it. Because, because <laughs> there's no doing it later. Then no. it's like, oh, no. <laughs> it's like me when I get home. Like, I usually have, like, uh, on the second floor, we have two separate, like, uh, air conditioning units. Mm -hmm. And the top nest, I have it at, like, 75 throughout the day. And then... It takes like a couple hours to get it down to like 68, which is where I usually like it. Mm -hmm. But I'll get home a lot of times and forget to set it. And I go, oh, fuck. I either have to work out or stream. And it's like 74 degrees. And I'm like, ooh, I forgot to thaw out the, the, the chicken. I mean, you know? that's getting up there. 74 is still like, like being 105 out, pretty acceptable. Yeah. But that's the limit to me. Once oh, it hits yeah, yeah. 76, it's uncomfortable. It's, yeah. Like, it's, I mean, it's unacceptable. 74 I, is, okay fuck, it. it's hot. When I'm 76 is unacceptable. When I'm, like, at my desk, I'm, like, don't move too much. Don't get too animated. Yeah, fortunately. I'm going to start sweating. Yeah. Afraid it gets killed. Which Whoa, we would never wow. do. Wow. <laughs> you know, it's actually cheaper to leave your temperature low and not go, like, between 68 and 75. It also elongates the life of your... Computer. I mean, I guess it probably depends on for how long at a time, right? No, no, like... So no, if I just like, leave it like, at 68 there was, mm -hmm, for because the rest of the they, year? They said that it, it actually costs... It, it takes more energy, and it also burns out your unit faster to have to cool down all the time down right. to there from the higher one instead of just leaving it there, and then it kicks on every once in a while to keep it right. there. Right, but... That's only if you're doing it all the time. For if you leave your house for a week, it's, there's no way it's cheaper to leave it on than just it is. it off. For a there week. Was like a, there was like what? a... I there was like what? a... Uh, uh, fucking... It won't take like more time to cool it. Like, it only it will get so hot. Who do, I don't know who to believe. Right? Who's, right. who's going to save me science. money? I'm, okay, where, where's the limit? Who's if you don't use money? your energy for a year, <laughs> it's cheaper to leave on for a year than leave off for a year? It's impossible. At some point, there mu it must cross. We got to run a test? I guess probably when seasons it's change. It's probably... I fully believe that if you're doing it, like, frequently. Like, oh, I turn day. it on, I turn it off. I turn it on, I turn it off. I, I turn it on, day. I turn it off. Yeah, that I believe. That I try and always leave it at, like, 72 or whatever. Because, yeah, then it goes up to 80, and it's like, now I got to lower it to 80. Oh, down I misunderstood like... your question. Yes, you're absolutely right, Michael. Sorry. I, I thought you were saying if you if, if you did it for a week. Sorry. I, Wait, what? My head, sure, no. sure. Oh, Turn fine. my temperature down now. No, no. What? If you're doing it every day, no, don't do that. If you, if you like you said, if you left your if you went on vacation for a week, right. yes, and you're, no one's at your house, uh, you, you would turn it off. You would turn it off, right. or you would right. leave it at a higher temperature. Sure. And then you yes. would take the one. Yeah, but if you're doing it every day, the which one is what he's doing. Yeah. I'm doing. Don't do that. Don't do don't that. Don't do that. Yeah. No. Okay. Because well, so, he's working its ass off every day. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of just like cruising. Consistent. Yeah. Instead of I mean, I believe that. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it at a cool seventy. Yeah. And that's what it'll yeah, sit from cool now on. Seventy is fucking cold. Yeah. Which it's fine with me, but I'm just if you're telling people like, all right. We're going to be reasonable, 70. 
Some people, they're like, I refuse to go lower than 70. Oh, hell no. See, like no what, what I'm not yeah, used to. An hour and 20 minutes to the, cool it the off. The houses mm -hmm. here in Texas. Holy, like bro. Well, the well, there's so much damn wasted space. Yeah. It takes one, forever to cool. The house Lost that space. I'm in, it's new, but the insulation absolutely fucking sucks. Even though there is insulation, got all damn, the walls, so blown you don't, the attic. You don't do well on the, um, what's it called, the insulation tests? Where they fucking pump shit into your oh, house I have no and, they, idea. and they, they gauge like how much leakage uh, comes yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, I have no idea what that's on, but mm. like our house. That shit look cool. We'll leave it at like 68 wow. and it will never dip to 68. It just will never go to 68. How low does it go? It goes to like maybe 72 and yeah. it just won't go See, we have that. We have that on the second floor. Right. We have a large, again, it's just so much space. Mm -hmm. And uh, at its hot this year, it's got to drive a golf cart. Up the uh, yours is like twice the size. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> fucking, but you probably you have better, you have newer systems. Your yeah, house is newer. and I have, and I have um, two units. I think. I oh, you have one. two on the second floor. No, 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 two just, total. Just two total. Yeah, I have two. I have one you top and one, one yeah, bottom. Yeah. The bottom is perfect. I mean, well, that's what I mean. Falls. But the I top assumed, is I assumed like it was standard. But seventy four like, is the lowest I can get it like right now. Do you guys have insulation blown in your attic as well? Yeah, you blowing insulation. Yeah. Yeah. Blowing insulation. Are you blowing insulation in your attic? All the asbestos get in there. Yeah, there's blown. Jeez. Uh, yes, we do have insulation. Blown. Right. Yes. Getting blown well, everywhere. Dude, every time someone had that's to do like any work, like we install like a security system, or we have people come and check the the AC unit before the summer started. Every time, dude. I mean, they're used to it. It's a part of their job. But like, they go up, dude. And they come down changed. It's dude. just. Again, I, I worked in a lot of dripping because oh, it's just hot <laughs> as fuck. I worked in a lot of attics and crawl spaces when I worked for an electrician because yeah. that's where the wires are. Yep, dude. Summer in Jersey is like whatever. Here it is no joke, like 125 degrees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and you're just like. It's like walking into an inferno. Yeah, it's, it is. It's in the first breath you take. It's like you can't fucking breathe. It feels like I'm. I don't know. It feels like I'm drowning. It's <laughs> hot insulation. <laughs> <laughs> Just above water. Like that's what it feels like. I have so many memories of helping my grandfather move out of his home as a kid, and I was going up to his attic and getting stuff. And same thing. It was like it felt like my little kid like play war zone. Like okay, hold your breath. <gasps> Run through yeah. the heat, grab something, yeah. go downstairs, and we had to wake up at like Hell five no. in the morning because come eight, eight, in the, yep. eight in the morning, mm -hmm. you're like, I'm dead. Like, yep. yeah. so that was it. You always yeah. got to do it first thing in the morning. Yeah, you guys have filters quick. in the attic as well? No. Oh, okay. So is that just my house thing? Because I'm not used to that. I'm used to like filters being in a utility closet that you just whoop, change your filter, like an air filter for your oh. air conditioning. Oh. Hmm. No, my shit's ours up is there. in the attic. And it I think my shit's fucking up there. sucks. Even just to go up there and change it, because our attic is so goddamn small. Yeah, it's like I have to like it's hunch crawl. around, and it just it's so like hot up there. It up there. Yeah, it's the lighter. horrible. Joe's gonna <laughs> not step on the beam, and you just see one leg just go. I just see I just <laughs> like Joe telling this story, and it just became so real at the end of him ending with it's horrible, and then that's <laughs> it. That's the story. It's just horrible. That's just his, <laughs> it's, it's horrible. That's my tail. <laughs> 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 well, this, I don't know, man. Our house is just all fucked because it's like. But you don't know. Like you still got hair that long. I know. It's so hot. It's so I want to cut yeah. it. Yeah. I want to cut it. But every time I say I'm going to cut it, Destiny goes, no, no, please grow it out more. Oh, and okay. then it makes me feel bad. Oh, well, you know, you, oh, keep yeah, you keep that. Hey, keep it. You keep that. Like, well, I'm, this, trying this to, what happens. I'm trying to. I'm uh, trying to, you know, get Jackie to come around to a bigger Alfredo. Yeah, but also at the same time, you're not waiting for her to. You're uh, like, man, I'm hoping no. she comes around. Anyway, no. here it's I go. No. I, look, I'm going. <laughs> right, I'm on or off the train. Like take it or leave it. <laughs> Michael asked me about his facial hair. But I'm hoping. And I'm like, mm, okay, you do whatever you want. I love you, but I do love the facial hair. Please don't cut it. <laughs> That's usually mm -hmm. like it was, I mean, it was like, a while ago. Thanks. I was like, what do you think? He's like, oh, it's whatever you want. You know, don't know. I'm like, I love okay, I'm going to shave you. it. And, and they were like, no! no! <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, well, there we go. You've seen that a couple times. Uh, Greg Miller is like, I will shave it. Greg Miller, when he grew out his beard, his wife, Jan, was like, don't. Leave it. Yes. Like it. So especially with Michael, I'm just saying, he has these little like divots of hair here that naturally go into his cheekbones. Oh, I see it. it. sinks in. So it gives him extra Those like real angle. defined cheekbones. Yeah. yeah. He's got new face, man. Like, new face. dude, oh. new head, then new face. <laughs> and then if you shave it off, it <laughs> really will be it. new face. I have this picture. I have this picture. I don't know if I should send it to somebody. I just want to show you. Uh, <laughs> I sent it to Fiona the other day. I was talking to her. And it's not that old. It's got to be from probably last year. Two years ago. It's probably well. It was either last year. Hang on. I, let me close this episode. It snapped. Uh, it's either from 2021 or 2022. Let me. Oh, sorry. I sent her this. 
And then, and then she sent me back with that. And then I'm like, this is the same human being. Different man. <laughs> Who should I should send this to? Bro? I'm going to send it to okay. Kat, and then she can figure out what to do with it. I will say I am close to my samurai hairstyle days. Dude, what? Yeah, I'm getting the, very we close. We were at the beach, you put it up. We were my, talking about it. We are oh, like, yeah. he's getting there. My back, <laughs> the back part of my head, my hair the back, back there. back part of my head. It can pretty much get tied up with the front. Mm -hmm. I can let the front hang. So it's does Desi love there. like playing with your hair and twirling it around? Hey, like, Dude, she asks to braid it all the time. <laughs> so and I'm like, I'm like, I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna keep it, but okay, if I you want it. to. That's great. That's good at grounding technique for her too. You know, yeah. She's holding something there, yeah. that's awesome. I'm just not used to it, man. It's still like, I'm still getting used to it. And I've been growing it out for, oh God, like nine months now. Oh, wow. That's a little cool. bit longer than that. That's some good volume. Too. That's is it the longest you've had it or you yeah. had it longer? No, this is the longest. This is the longest I've had everything. I've definitely had my top this long before, but not like the sides and the Yeah. Back. I yeah. usually like always uh, fade those, or, like disconnect the top. What's your ideal haircut? Like if you could get anything and it would look amazing no matter what. Cause I know it's like face shapes are different. So Brad you, Pitt, you want something. Fury. <laughs> it well, looks pretty good. Cool. Grown out, back in the side shape. That'd be pretty cool, yeah. I would love um, that look. Mine's probably just faded sides, keep the hair the top like four inches long. Oh, I can like see I'll that. Just push it to the side. Or That's I'll a pretty push. popular Ooh, look now yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, like big volume on top, shaved on the side. Yeah, I like that. Every I like time, I, every time I go to uh, my stylist, I'm like, he's like, "What are we doing?" And I'm like, "Bro, same old, same old. fuck my shit up." And he, he, oh. and he knows I do on camera stuff. He's like, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> I, 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 go, I don't feel comfortable. That's fair. Should... I'll take the use. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, see, now this is them not wanting to edit it. And then they're just going to put that. It's <laughs> awesome. What? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, whoa. Whoa. What we're looking at is a screensaver. It looks like a slideshow now. So. How does Savannah? Looks to me. Yeah. That's it. You don't get a tree like that. No. You don't get a tree like that. There we go. Okay. So there's. There's a picture I sent. That's the picture Jerry of Simba. There's Simba on Bride Rock. That's, that's the picture I sent to Fiona. It's just time. Rafiki. There he is. Maybe fat. Come around. <laughs> the picture again, not that old. Yeah. Uh, and then she yeah. sent me back the next one. That is a different which, man. Uh, that was a pull it up. Was in the. It was when we were in the temp space, so it it was no older than 2021. The temp space. Have you uh have you seen Howl's Moving Castle, Michael? Yes. So you, <laughs> that picture, he this is it. this is like the, <laughs> so the, the, the Witch of the Waste uh -huh. before climbing up the stairs. Stop. And then that uh -huh. other picture, if we, if, I don't know if we can go back No, this it. is like the other boogie. picture is after <laughs> the Witch like of the, the Waste pants. got to the top of the stairs. Give him a second, Joe. You're making him get... go right. so fast right now. We get to watch it get prepped <laughs> over here before it appears. For Could you, you send I that think. to me, by the way? Because when you showed me this photo, you, photo, you zoomed in on your Yeah, because that's the best. It was... Alfredo was talking about a before picture, and I go, you want a before picture? I got a before picture. I've been taking them my whole life without ever having a plan for an after. <laughs> it's what a benefit that I've intentionally, no matter how bad I looked, made myself look worse every time I take a photo, because now it just makes the transformation seem mo so much more impressive. See, look at this and, now, then, and then here's a picture that I took then and sent to Fiona of my head now. That's a new head. That's a new head. It's a whole ass new head. New head, new, head, new eyes. New Your head. eyes grew new about eyes? five times the size from that other photo. Uh, I think I was just squinting. I no. think there's just more life in his eyes. <laughs> he was dead. He was half dead. Well, there was it's less on return. my face weighing him down. <laughs> <laughs> I, before... Your amazing transformation. Right, I had this it. amazing. Too. It is. It's incredible. Listen. God like <laughs> yeah. unseen. Well, that's a little close. Let's call it. Willie the Hammer yeah. of Thor. <laughs> I like to do. Herculean. You went. Oh, Shazam. <laughs> Struck by lightning. The tonal lightning took him. I used to do a similar thing in that I don't like to wear makeup all the time and teach their own, but I do like when I do because people go, "Oh my God, you look awesome!" Like, thank you very much. I clean up okay. So this is Michael's cleaning up okay. Yeah. Cleaning up pretty well. Nice. Hmm? I don't know. It was hmm? an amazing transformation, <laughs> and then it was cleaned up all right. <laughs> yeah. Michael, I guess the same effect. Know. You, you look, look like an elf right now. Yeah? Well, it's like, I have, like, pointed ears. Yeah, but yeah. you also have, like, the blonde hair going on. You've got, yeah. like, the luscious Very glow to your skin. Yeah. It's, like, a little... Yeah, Are a little elves legless. luscious and glow... Oh, yes. Where did you say? Have you seen those camera Luscious and glow. Fuck. There's a glow to your skin. Oh, I thought you said oh. glow to your... Baking a oh. cookie. Uh, Which is absolutely true. I don't know what. But I don't think I don't it's know a what gloaty, gloatier. It's like means. you're gloating, but yes. you're gloatier than ever. He's like, oh yeah, it's like a a, a bad boy 
in Lord of the Rings. Like, if it was one of the elves, you know what I mean, on the wall. He's I, I will say, Lord of the Rings <laughs> is real blonde elves. Oh, yeah. They are yes. like... But, you know, there's like, there's the rebels. The rebel rousers. We call them the brunettes. <laughs> Damn. They're unpure. Unpure. <laughs> the hair not like ours. He's, I think he looks a little bit more punk rock, too. I like to dress punk also. Lindsay so likes to like, tell me all the time what feature. I look like. And yes. I say, okay. Like, I so. thematically. <laughs> he goes, oh, this is the theme you have going on. And I mm. say, I put on this shirt with this pant. Y'all look good. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's fine. I'm glad Lindsay informs me of what I've done unknowingly. Yeah. I just sent it to Kat, too, but it's, it's a different style now, but... Roll with me here. Fredo's haircut that he described fits uh -huh. perfectly with this fan art that people made of the Rowdy Rough Boys and the Powerpuff Girls. Every time I look at it, all I can see is Alfredo and Michael. And I feel like that's absolutely y'all, and that's the haircut you want. <laughs> can Joe see it? Yeah. Can you show Joe too? I see it. It's up there. He was oh, looking Joe jealous. Joe oh, there, 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 there we go. Well, the guy on the right? Yeah. yeah. You can hear like that. Uh, was it Butch? Oh, I forgot the Rowdy Rough Boys' names. But yeah, oh, yeah. the Puff equivalent. Yeah, we're rowdy. We're real rowdy. Joe, right. Joe definitely has more hair shape, like the blonde one, the guy mm -hmm. on the right. That's you Michael could, in the you middle could pull of it. See, <laughs> my plan is I'm just Yeah, like, we could do that. I'm going to I'm going to get into a a K-pop era. Ooh. Just so I can be closer to my people. Okay. Oh. I like it. What does that have to do with anything we're talking about? Just the hair. The oh, hair okay. I didn't, okay. I didn't know. Okay. Just the, the hair, hair reminds okay, me gotcha. of like, gonna have a K-pop yeah. era. Are you going to dress different, like a different style? Like is your fashion going to change? I would hope so cuz Joe is not K-pop. No, that's I don't think that's a fine shirt. Honestly, yeah. I haven't really. You know, classic Bunny Man is K-pop. That's like being, green street it's art. Crazy. Yeah. It's it's the opposite. I feel like being on camera has made me not want to like that was a great feeling. dress normally, like dress like, normally like a normal human being. I just want to uh -huh. be in comfortable clothes. Okay. It's done well, the because opposite. Because we have a job that doesn't require like I mean I wore nicer clothes when I first got here and I went why. Mm -hmm. You're sitting down playing video Exactly. Games. Yeah. See, I'm, like, I'm in know. the exact opposite. I've had a weird now. flux. Go I've out. dressed like shit my entire life. So now, <clears> much <throat> like exercising, with the tiniest bit of effort, people go, oh my God, what's with this fancy clothes? And I say, $11 exactly. at Walmart. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I heard that a lot. $11 at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's not the same shit I always Dude, wear. I've, I've just been enjoying one because it's fucking hot as shit, and two because I got into um, just uh, fucking like the uh, active wear. Yeah, mm. Dude, um, sweat wicking technology, especially in Texas. It's great. Oh my god. And I just been. That's what leather. Because uh, Meg. That's talked, not what leather's for. <laughs> Meg, Meg talked about it. You know, mm -hmm. uh, going to Dick's Sporting Goods. Mm -hmm. How amazing it is. So Jack and I went over to Dick's as well, and boy, we walked out with a lot of just like workout clothes. And I was like, oh, Active hold wear, on. I was like, wear. Mm -hmm. more sweat wicking technology. Yeah. So when I walk outside and I instantly burn. It's pulled off you at least. Yeah, okay. yeah. You walk in, the AC feels like it's pulling it I'm off. I tell you, you, it's very helpful if you get heat rash, which apparently I do. And yeah. And yeah, that's you when your sweat gets trapped in your pores and then you make more sweat and it just causes a rash. I've gotten a little bit of that yeah. on some intense leg sweating days. Sweating a lot. Uh, yeah. So now it's like more than ever. So I was like, I've oh, got, I need got it. to wear breathable did you find cotton. Any, get out of here. Yeah. Did you but, find uh, any breathable joggers for yourself? Because you wear joggers all the time and I love the way they I haven't found any breathable awesome. joggers, but running shorts. Ooh, I've okay. noticed that like you don't have to wear underwear. Because it has like the compression. A whole, uh, yeah, they're like compression shorts underneath. The yeah, short. they've yeah. got like like you know, it's like yeah. short shorts with some underwear built in. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I was like, because I threw, I had my briefs on, then I threw on the runner shorts. I'm like, this just feels too much. Mm -hmm. It feels weird. It might. Oh yeah. Well, and then I took it off, and I was like, I'm so really free. Nice pair of underwear, like breathable underwear. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I've, I haven't fully I, switched, but I've started. It's I, not fit. I dude, underestimated more than underwear. You get some dry fit socks. I underestimated it when I moved here because, like, Colorado was really dry. So, like, even though it gets yeah. really hot, it's not like right. muggy it's like not it muggy is here. As hell. Here, it's like I had to like completely just get like new boxers, like new boots, everything because it was just so fucking yeah. hot. Yeah, because you get sweating all the time. Because like I was living in San Francisco, I had all the cotton stuff because it mm -hmm. keeps me warm. It's nice. It's insulated. I came here, I'm like, this shit's it's fucking hot. I was wearing like not like skinny jeans, but like form fitting jeans, and I was just like, man, it's just. It just keeps all the sweat in, dude. Yeah. Like all the sweat's the like locked in, underwear. bro. I'm like <laughs> drain your underwear. <laughs> well, you wring well, it out. Well, you fucking wring it out. You're like, oh god, it's so it. hot. I'm, I'm just gonna wring it out. Let me put it back on. I don't know. Drain it. I don't know what you're talking about. Breathable. You're talking about like sweat wicking leggings because I have them at home. 
Uh, oh, the I same exact that. material as the shirts. Yeah. Got you. Like, it feels uh, weird because they're compression and they're on your legs. You right. know, you think you'd sweat more. You really no, don't. Um, just, also, I appreciate also, when it. Also, when, bre- when, when, when a breeze comes in. Yeah, oh, you get the oh, fan going. Whew, you Ooh, really yep, feel you that. Feel it That's why I wear skirts. I'm like, oh, it's, so, it's too fucking yeah. hot here. I wear leather a lot, and I love it. It's great. I feel You're cool, wearing it right but now. God, am I hot. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, thank That's you. true. So I try Looks and, good. Thank you. I mean, look, I nothing makes me feel better in terms of like wearing clothes, like look-wise and confident-wise, than like wearing layers. I love that. I only get to do that like once, twice a month out of the, like the year here. Back in San Francisco, I was wearing layers all the time. Mm-hmm. I'd have a jacket, take that off. I'd have like a button-up shirt. You know, you keep the top a little loose, and then you roll up the sleeves. Fancy. Boom! That's a good look. And then like if it gets it. too hot here, there, then you take off. Torched. No. Nope. You're torched, bro. You're scorched earth. Hell no. Oh yeah, I would love to get back to the point. I used to wear shorts all the time. I'm just not comfortable doing it anymore. I like skirts and leggings for mm. sure. But I would love to get back to the point where I can comfortably wear shorts outside, and especially for things like Six Flags, yeah. short city. That's what I, uh, I said this before, but. Y'all had it good. I didn't know. Leggings? I got them those, like, male leggings. They're great. These bad boys? Let me tell you, I just keep... I have other active wear. I just keep picking these. Yeah. Because it's just... It's like wearing nice pajamas. It is. You find yourself looking like a cat, or you're like, mmm, I can, ooh, I can stretch. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And then, you know, added bonus, but looks pretty good no matter who you are. Just saying. Nice true. little oomph. Very, very little true. Oomph. The, a, lot of, a lot of it, the, especially depending on what design you go for, they're very much like the seams. Make it so it like shows and hugs. Yes. Like when you saw, um, when I was wearing the, um, the, the Nike like sleeveless, like they very much like tighten those, uh, those circles around your, your shoulder. Right, they want to cut off the blood pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pop. yeah so your veins pop out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look how ripped I am. And then they're just like, yep. they hug it real tight. Mm-hmm. They don't keep it loose. And I it's have, like, boom. I have leggings that have, I don't remember the brand. It was marketed on Instagram. You got me. Oh, um, like the one where it's like really tight seams. Yes. And it like, it's like it literally up your, your ass crack. Like the, yeah. the, the, TikTok, the TikTok leggings? Yeah, but they work. Yeah. They do make my butt look really good. Booty man, <laughs> that was a good time <laughs> in history. Oh, my gosh. Everyone was wearing... Did your the social leggings. circles growing up? I was up, like, those leggings are great. They are amazing. And just curious I was because like, I gotta rock some. we had like like Lululemon esque leggings growing up, and those are stylish for sure. We didn't have things like these, but everywhere I grew up around was all about like how you look and how much money you spend on your clothes, etc. Mm-hmm. So I get where you're coming from. We're coming to work here. I just want to be casual, especially now with VTubing. I don't want to dress up. I'm like, I'm, oh. I have a digital person over me. Yeah. Who cares? But now, especially with Barbie core happening, there's so much mm. focus on like being hyper effeminate and dressing yeah. up and going crazy. I'm like, I've I've gone 180. I'm yeah. with Michael now again. Mm. Like, I want to dress up and be fancy on camera. It's also why, and I was saying earlier that Lindsay determines the classification of what I'm wearing, mm. and I just go with it oh. because usually they're right. <clears throat> that even um, uh, you know, like I said going through my cooling technique on the hot tub, we use it just as like a cool relaxation at night when we can. And so I get a little wireless speaker and I put it out there. <clears throat> but I'm trying to mix up the playlist, not put the same shit on every night. And also, just, you know, it's, not, it's the end of the day. You want something yeah, to yeah. kind of chill, but I hate lo-fi. Lindsay mm-hmm. likes lo-fi. I just, I, oh, I just can't. I just it's chill. Mm, it's chill. don't like it. It's not even like it gets me. It's like a song. Like, uh, yeah. It's like a song that never starts. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, that. start the song. Start that. the song. I can see that. Just like. Okay. <laughs> And it'll be that with some other beat. I just always feel like I'm in a lobby and I don't like it. Maybe like a subtle violin. It's it's, it's just not enough. A line from a movie plays every now and then. It's like we hit the, you know, our generation was when music got into the, especially dubstep. Who gives a fuck if it's music? Just make it go. And so you feel like, and and, and you go like that. And I understand in a lot, even the best dubstep or whatever, is just like, it's just. But it's physically satisfying. I don't care. It's like an action movie. Like, mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be... I don't give a shit if you're going to compare it to, like, a, like, oh, this is an incredible record. It's like, yeah, yeah, but I'm just dancing. Yeah. And it's going... Bah, 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 bah. Wanna, like, yeah. Want to beat... Lo-fi is the exact opposite to me, where I'm just like, this is making me not... <laughs> it gives me a I can't explain response, it. but in a relaxing it. way. It's, it's, like, it's like it's like putting me to sleep, but I'm still awake. But anyway, goes, mm-hmm. but anyway, so I found a list. I put it on... Yesterday, and it start. It started with a, a song from the Barbie soundtrack. Then it went into it's Charlie I think there was some, X Red Light. It was some Katy Perry on there. There was the actual uh, Barbie World from Aqua. Mm-hmm. But I didn't tell Lindsay what the list was. And so, like five, six songs in, 
hearing the sampling, I was like, what do you, what do you think of the playlist? And Lindsay goes, oh, it's pretty good. I'm like, do you know what it is? Like, what, what's the genre? And Lindsay guessed in one try, they went, like, Pink Princess? Or, or Princess Pink, I don't know exactly. Mm-hmm. You said like one of the other. Pop Princess, Pop Pink. Pop Princess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, you definitely said Pink because mm-hmm. you were like, Pink, Pink Princess. I was like, close, insanely close. The name of the playlist was Hot Pink. Yeah. And I'm like, they knew that from like five songs. <laughs> like that's pretty good. That's a pretty yeah, good so call. Colors, colors are emotions. You know, on, you know no, what I mean, I, mean, so, I yeah. played a playlist yes. called Hot Pink, and Lindsay guessed two words, and one of them was Pink, and it was not like just Barbie songs. So I'm like, they you know, know what they're talking about. You know, I made it to the. Uh, uh, the tonal top 40 playlist. What's that? Barbie. Are you One of the Barbie jams. Dude, yeah. because they're bops. Please, I know um, the whole soundtrack now. <laughs> is it Oh Barbie, You So Fine? You So Fine, You Blow My Mind? The Charlie XCX song they just mentioned. That's <laughs> usually what they play. Yeah. yeah. It's when she's running around mm-hmm. in Mattel when yep. they're chasing mm-hmm. her. Yeah. That's yeah. a great one. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? I was like, yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> I love should it. should make a playlist called Boppy. 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 That's funny. This is just I haven't watched the movie, so I have no idea. Uh, I have no idea of, what so- soundtrack is in the movie. Yeah. A lot of um, pitfalls, probably a lot of champagne, Boppy, Drake. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're talking about like Spotify titles, yeah. which is great. I love the challenge of like, here's a playlist title, what songs would go in there, or like, mm-hmm. you know, Pink Princess or whatever. What I'm if like, you make okay. uh, an, an um, Oppenheimer themed playlist and you call it Boppenheimer? <laughs> That'd be like good. Ooh, That'd be really good. Oppenheimer on Spotify. And then I'll sneak in a little bit of lo fi in there just to. Tickle your brain a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'll skip it. <laughs> it went it's crazy because I'll put I'll put on a list that's like it's even if it's not listed as low fi it'll be like chill hot chill. tub mix. Mm-hmm. And I go, this is lo-fi. I put it on, and they're all the same like tapping mm-hmm. n- noises or in a mm-hmm. piano for mm-hmm. three minutes. Mm-hmm. Even still, I'll go skip, 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 skip. Fine, I guess I'll leave this one on. And then in two minutes it's a different song, and I hate it again. <laughs> if an op- the sorry, the Boppenheimer playlist. Thank you. We must have Bombs Over Baghdad by Outcast. That's gotta be on there. Um, uh, drop the bomb from the DDR soundtrack. We all know it. Come on, guys. Classic. No. Um, <laughs> I don't. No, not not no. No, do you? No, we don't know it. We don't know what it is. Um. It's like Lindsay put. It, we're, we're doing a time capsule. Yeah. Like th- we need to put the most important thing that mankind has in our generation. Lindsay's like, gotta have this thing That's in there. And nobody shit. knows the fuck we're talking Everyone's about. Like, uh... Everyone was playing with this. Oh my God. Put things. it in there. A limited edition, one of one. <laughs> Every time I try and find music with Alexa too, I get so frustrated. But I shouldn't because I try and ask for niche shit that there's no way Alexa would have. I'm like, Alexa, play the theme song from Cool World. And she's like, it, I can't find that. It'll fuck be you, real Alexa. specific. <laughs> And they have a lot. Very specific. <laughs> Very specific. Mm-hmm. Um, we just, uh, Jack and I just finished watching the show. Have you guys heard of the show Jury Duty? Mm-mm. No, I don't think so. Is that the it's one where they so I, implant, I've seen uh, I've seen Runaway Juror so, starring so the one where they wait, implant wait, wait, the person? Wait. So Jury Duty is a show where the producers <clears throat> and director and camera people, the whole production. Oh, God. They get... Um, unprecedented first time access to film like a whole like jury summoning and like legal process and all that kind of stuff. And um, so they get to film all that. The thing is it follows one man and his like process having to go through jury duty and the case and all that kind of stuff. The thing is everyone but him is an actor. (laughs) And Joe Schmo, yeah, yeah, Joe yeah. Schmo stuff, awesome. which is awesome, <clears throat> and and so like it's it's just awesome because it's like literally everyone is an actor, right? The whole thing, the trial, all of it's fake, but it's just seeing him react to everything. So like he'll be like uh, sitting and you know in the the fucking main area when they're calling up numbers and stuff like that, and they're just different characters. Like one guy comes through and he's just like he's like. You know, he's kind of like young, nerdy. He's like, oh my god, like, you know, he introduced himself, and he's like, oh, like, I really like my, my girlfriend. Like this weekend, like, we're finally gonna be alone in like her parents' house, and I really gotta find a way to get out of here. Like, I don't know how to get out of here. And so, like, the main dude, that the, the guy doesn't know, it's uh, <laughs> Ronald. Ronald's like, I, don't know, I mean, like, Family Guy. He said he was like, he said it was racist, so he didn't have to like do it. And then so like the director's like, oh my god, use that, use that, use that. And so like when they're picking jurors, they're like, they choose the young guy, and he was like, uh, sir, why, why should you not be picked? And he's like, um, I'm, I'm racist. And then everyone's like, what? Uh, excuse me. And he's like, 
No, I'm I'm, I'm not. Wrong. I'm sorry. I'm I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then the judge is like, "Sit down, sit sir. down, <laughs> sir." And then, that's awesome. And then it has um, that's awesome. Everyone's an actor, and then just like randomly, uh, James Marsden comes in, and he's like, ah, you know, got you know, I got jury duty. I think I've seen. Yeah. Like probably, probably seen I've I seen start of it just because I remember like and James Marsden is James Marsden. Yeah, <laughs> that's what him. that's I saw that a clip or something for one second and mm -hmm. I totally forgot about it until right now. He's, yeah. he's just like, oh man, I saw you in a movie. And he's like, he's like, James Marsden's like naming all these movies, he's like, nah, I didn't see any of that stuff. And he's like, and then also like the dude, like Ronald's was talking about, like, oh yeah, man, there's you know, some of those movies aren't that great. You know? <laughs> 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 and just like, I was like, this dude. No, that's like, wild. And then, Holy like, shit. eventually, so they're like, you know, they get they get picked, and they're kind of shuffling through, and like, like, uh, you know, just like picking off some other people, and they're like, all right, we gotta take a lunch break, and so they take a lunch break, and James Marsden, it's just trying to talk to the juror, because the uh, not the juror, the um, the judge, he's like walking to his car, he's like, sir, 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 and the, ju the judge is like, I can't talk to you, I can't talk to you right now, so he goes up to Ron, he's like, he's like, you know, they're all at this food truck, it's like, guys, I'm gonna, like. We're gonna cause a little scene here, okay? Like, you guys are gonna recognize me, and and I'm gonna just f say that like cause a ruckus and just say I'm buying food for everyone, and then so like maybe maybe that'll get me out of this thing. Like, <laughs> and, and so like he's he's just like that's awesome. Yeah, and so like you got shit like that, and it's and it's just like. What the fuck is happening? What a God. good, what a good that. get too. It's, it's such like a James good. James Marsden. It's just, just a good like, get. Yeah, I'll do it. It's just a good get. <laughs> and then like. You know, I mean, and then James is like, uh, when he's talking to Ron about the movies, he's like, yeah, you know, like, he's like, what other, Ron's like, what other stuff you've been in? He's like, yeah, I was in Sonic. He's like, you're in Sonic? He's like, yeah, I'm the, he's like, I'm the human. Yeah, I'm the main guy. I'm the, I'm the main guy. I'm, I'm like, not Jim Carrey. The, the cop. And oh he's like, God, oh, you're in there. He's like, oh, You should have said, I'm Donut Lord. <laughs> yeah, I should have. Like, oh, no, the movie wasn't that great. And then he was like, he was like, oh, he's like, oh, how'd you see it? And he was like, because uh, if you like, if you bought the DVD, like, I get a little kickback. <laughs> and I was like, this is amazing. Stop. I was like, Stop. so that rules. It's awesome. It's like eight episodes. Where, uh, where is it? Where's that at? Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> Netflix. I don't think we watched. Oh, I mean, I haven't dude. watched the entire thing, but I think the whole season follows that one guy, right? It follows the yeah. one dude, it's and it's just like insane shit that keeps happening. That's cool. How long is it? Like, um. Episode? Ooh. 30 minutes or an hour? Each episode is an like, hour, right? It's an hour. It sounds yeah. chaotic like 40 as 40 minutes an episode. Yeah. All about it. Yeah, but it was, uh, it was very, very good. Um, eight, eight episodes. I won't spoil more, but every, like, there's just a bunch of different characters. That's fun. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. What an insane uh, environment, too. Jury oh. duty. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> I like the, the flip. It's not like the first time we've seen that concept. But I like the flip of like instead of having one person who is the actor, it's like no, no, no. Let's just make everybody else like okay, control the world around That's what him. the Joe Schmo show was. Oh yeah, I've never seen Joe Schmo. So it was like a reality I think show. It's a show. It was a reality show, as in like everyone's gonna live in one house and do whatever. And I can't remember who hosted it, but it was the famous host of those shows. Yeah. Like they got the guy to do it, and you're like, oh, this is real. <clears throat> and every single person on the show was an actor except for one guy, Joe. Yeah. It was like Joe, whatever. And then they called it the Joe Schmo show. Gotcha. And it was all you know people would be like and people like had to vote people out and so like oh. they they planned it was just like a week I to week it was just a week to week like so and so is getting voted out and he'd be like i can't believe it um fucking uh cricket was on it he was one of them ricky cricket from <laughs> sunny oh, uh he was on it obviously before sunny yeah so, but they're all just like actors and so it was like a really cool concept they did a second season i don't think like i think it was only like two seasons but <clears throat> it was like the exact same thing we're like we just Fucked with this guy, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I think he got money too because it was it was actually for money, right? Mm. Like the contest was like to win X amount of money, and I'm pretty sure he just got either that money or some amount of money. Right, 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 exactly. like, oh, we fucked with you. We're still gonna pay you though. Yeah, I like that um, concept, and I want to mix that with the concept of drawn together. I want a reality TV show where you have to figure out who is the animated character and who's the real person in the room. We can make this happen, great. guys. <laughs> <laughs> well. James Marsden isn't Sonic. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know he was in the movie. <laughs> there's, there's, one, there's, like, there's one scene in Jury Duty where the lawyers are presenting and like <laughs> and the, the the one lawyer that is um not the def uh, the defendant. The I prosecutor. Think. The prosecutor. It's just like we have like uh, rendered video. So it's like a 
like a 3D high res rendered video, like like guy walking through and like animating the actions that he did, where he got drunk and then like laid like laid down with a bunch of clothes that were printed and pissed all over the clothes and shit all over the clothes. Then those clothes went out and that ruined the woman's business. That was the whole thing. And then it's it goes, so dumb. It, yeah. it, goes, it goes to the defendant's lawyer. He's like, okay, so um, yeah, we have. Uh, we have our uh, rendered uh, of what like really happened. And it's like, dude, it's like Roblox. <laughs> and, and it's like, and the guy's body's like twitching. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and, he's, and he's the Lord just like, uh, they, did, they fucked up, the, they, they fucked it up. Like, it's not ready yet. Like, and he's like, can we, this is like, Jen, can we take a break? Can we take a break? Like, dude, it's crazy because it's so like, weird. that's what it looked like, dude. I grew up watching that. You watch Forensic Files and yes. they'll show you that. And it's like, Stay through new. amazing ground groundbreaking technology <laughs> never before seen in a courtroom case. And it's like a guy going. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the and I'm like, that is yeah. the best that we have. <laughs> and the guy's gray and everything else is blue. Yep. Yep. There's like a red line. Yeah, there's the line. Yeah, Showing show the, the trajectory of the bullet. Uh, yeah. that's, that's what it looked like. <laughs> it's because of the and it's like. <laughs> I was like, it's like a reboot it's episode. Just, it's so stupid. I'm gonna. Wa we're watching that tonight. I want to start this it's funny. tonight. Okay. It's the so first good. episode is a, is a, already a riot. It's fucking. That's great. So this is one of those things where like everything you're describing is real funny, but anytime you'd watch it in a scripted thing, you're like, ah, oh, this is funny. Like, God, if this were real, and it's not, but it is for that one guy. <laughs> one guy. Just just for real. these episodes, he thinks it's real. <laughs> Just and it just makes it so much more enjoyable. And it's like, it's a what? thing where, where, and I'm assuming, uh, like, I mean, it probably does both, but, like, a lot of the insane shit isn't, like, we're fucking with this guy and we got the guy, right? Like, they're not even getting him. No. It's just them going, fucking crazy shit's good. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, it's like 100%. Of it's going, an, it's fucking... an unfiltered, like, bystander <laughs> just telling you about how insane something was with yeah. their own words. Yep. Which oh, is just 100%. so enjoyable. He's just, he's just, a lot of times he's like, I should just be, Filming all this is the craziest. <laughs> this, is, this should be a movie. Awesome. The craziest shit's happening. I like your description too, um, because I, for the most part, I usually don't gravitate toward reality TV because I don't like like cutthroat competition or right. people are like it's again, real hard to call this reality. You punch punch and models, it. yes, but this, yeah, this is like partially scripted or mostly scripted. You it's, know, it's, I mean, the world around. I mean, it's all scripted. Yeah. It's Except all scripted, him. and he's just. It's scripted. essentially a Truman Show. It's yeah. right. Like. Just, but like it's I like it. It's just so good. It's it's somehow more enjoyable to me though because it's not like it's it's like a little bit but not really like negatively. It's not really at his expense. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like people are laughing at this guy. They're no. laughing at no. this guy thinking We're everything is real this. and yep. just delighting in it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's just when you like tell a really funny joke and someone laughs. Him being outraged is him like approving of the concept. Yep. It's just like, it's when you do a bit and you're like, please work, please yeah. work. And he's going, I couldn't believe it. I think it's cool too, because like they also, you can tell they also kind of like let things improv as well. Like when, when one round suggested to the young guy, I was like, oh, I mean, you know, and family guy, the guy said he was racist. And they're like, we gotta use that. We gotta use that, like use that. <laughs> and it's just like. The yes and The yes oh, and yeah. I was like, I can't imagine <laughs> Like that's such an intricate dance. It's also, it's also again. I'm, I'm used to so many like, in, like <clears throat> impractical jokers or whatever. It's like somebody would do that, but the guy saying it is in on the bit, just like yeah. this. But everyone else isn't, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like the judge is real. This is real. And it's like that. Whether you like it or not, it's absolutely cringe, right? But mm -hmm. when used in the like, you're gonna, and some people love that. Some people don't. You get. It's like you get the joke, but none of that. Because you're going, yeah. they're all actors. They're all yeah. in on it. There's yeah. no cringe, I guess, is kind no. of the biggest right. thing. And like you it's, said, they're, they're not making like, fun of them or exactly. anything. They're just like, this is a wild. <laughs> Here's this, like, this situation, just dialed up to a 10, acted, and then just see what, how he reacts. It's like similarly, I guess, the same kind of delight I get watching street magic shows, because you're just watching people go, whoa, me, and not like, oh, wow, that was really shitty, or like, I feel bad from mm. this prank that was pulled in front of me. Mm. I hope that that's the similar energy that you were feeling. Oh, I mean, it just felt like it was fun, playful chaos around him. And like then it. just seeing this normal dude be like, what is happening right now? <laughs> I... can, can we do the same thing with Chris Damaris? Okay, moving on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <absolutely> <laughs> <his> life already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, also, and also, to be fair, Alfredo said he's just some normal dude. So <laughs> this, is already, this is already off the table. That's, that's, the, that's the biggest thing about the, these shows is like, guarantee you, there's like painstaking staking effort. Did you get like a normal person? Like a stereotypical, yeah. Yeah, yeah, someone yeah. that's not gonna be like a freak because they're like, no, 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 we're gonna be the freaks. 
We need right. you to go, oh my gosh. We just oh. need a normal <laughs> person. Basically. That's not like. Traditionally right. normal. 90s normal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I believe You've got to have it. someone that doesn't go, it doesn't bother me. Right. It's like, well, where's the. But you also don't want to have someone that just goes, I need to make a TikTok out of this. You know what I mean? Or mm -hmm. just like. Right. Or who's annoyed Joe. by it. Yeah. Uh, I, big time. Oh, I love big time tries. In court. Mm -hmm. In court. Yes, yeah. especially. <laughs> yeah. I love I love <laughs> interrupting the judge and saying, hold on, just wait. Yeah. Post for my TikTok. Well, yeah. wait. Can we start that over? I'm filming just, like, you. I get everything. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting this on tape. <laughs> this isn't illegal. I, have, I know my rights. <laughs> we got you, Justice Thomas. <laughs> Say it again. Have you had a phone I'm holding in real life? No, no. That's actually okay. something that's been I on my mind. Is, has anyone here ever been issued a bench warrant for missing jury duty? Uh, no. Me. I don't know, but because I, I, I don't know. I got jury duty once in New Jersey, and I said I'm not doing that, and then I moved. So, so that's yeah, that's kind of like what's been going on in my head. But I've kind only, of been you, ding scrolling in my for a couple own head. Of years. Oh, okay. So There's I'm probably, a, I'm probably fine. Yeah, probably. I was like, like, wait, it's only for a couple of years. Well, I mean, yeah. If it's like you miss whatever, if they don't come after you, I mean, there's statute of limitations. On I, I was 21, so got statute. summoned for jury duty. Yeah. Um, they said, you can't call, but you can send mail in explaining why you can't do jury duty. What if you can't do jury duty because you can't send and mail? How do what? you send it to them? Right. Just tell them you're racist. <laughs> no, right. I mean, <laughs> I could. No, I, I Can you my say, mom, like, explosive diarrhea? Sorry. No, my, no the way that my mom always got out of it was she doesn't understand English well enough, which, like, to an extent, for something like jury duty, absolutely yeah. is true. Important. But I, A lot of legal jargon. I, I also use that as my reasoning, even though they can see... I was born in the United States. They can States. see you're full of shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I don't, I can't understand English well enough to perform the, the, the duty of the jury. And um, I never heard back from them, but I also moved mm -hmm. um, like from that address. And I don't think I ever mm -hmm. legally changed my address mm -hmm. until the next move after that. And so like, it's always been on my mind. Like I haven't been pulled over since I was like 21. So if I get pulled over in Colorado or get pulled over anywhere, they're like, you have a bench warrant for you yeah. out in Colorado. We have to take you in, and now you're going to get transported to Colorado. <laughs> Is that, do we go to that extent or just be like, bench you, warrant, miss, you miss jury duty, pay the fucking fine? Uh, ask, yeah. Bench warrants are one of those things where it's kind of officer discretion. Yeah. Like if they so. want to take you, they can take you. If yeah. not, mm -hmm. if they see like what the violation is, it's like. You're like you miss jury duty, pay yeah. the, like pay a fine or whatever it is. But, and, and also then you're gonna, they're gonna make you do new jury duty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're like, okay. If you skip you gotta... it, it's not just like, well, you're clear. They make you do it again. Right, oh. and they will compliment your improvement in your English skills. I am. Uh, yeah. I'll say that's it. I'm actually looking forward to jury duty when I retire. Because I did it once when I was in my early 20s. Mm -hmm. And um, depending on the case, like, it's just fascinating. It's fascinating to see two lawyers mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. going at it. I had, I got called for jury duty here and I went, but I didn't get selected. Ah, oh, I guess, I guess so selected. So that's why I think was, I, like, I'm, I'm, yeah. Because <clears throat> yeah, you, know, you I skipped yeah. it like 14 years ago. Yeah, yeah. In New oh, Jersey. they haven't brought it up yet. I though. think I'm good. Yeah. Or, that fine is so high now. You go and it's like twenty thousand dollars, and they're yeah. like, "Yeah, here you go." Jesus, I'm like, send me a goddamn like piece of letter or something. I'm not worried like about a, it. Now I'm on top. Of just a piece. I like groan and moan. Mm -hmm. I get it. Mm -hmm. I just remember sitting there and my like, oh man, and it's like, oh, the person was speeding, and I was like, oh, they, they got him, they got him speeding, and then it's like the other lawyer was like, well, there's no like actual record of the speed gun or dash cam or anything. I was like. Mm. He's not on record. You don't know. <laughs> it's like Sonny oh, going, no, nah, he's right now. Yeah, yes. The, the yes. last person that talked is right. I'm <laughs> <in>. <laughs> really? I was like, well, it's me. Okay, all right. I'm back over on this side. Okay. You're not wrong. I have a lot of lawyers in my family, too. I never wanted to get into it, but I loved hearing about their cases because it is like, it's a duel. It's a word duel. <clears throat> it's a duel. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah it's with very fascinating. Mega high stakes. But I do love, like, if you think about it colloquially, it's basically one person going, Hello, I'd like to explain why my client is fucking amazing. Thank you very much. And then someone else goes, I'd like to explain why this guy is a fucking asshole. Thank yeah, you. pretty Fuck much. Yeah. Hey, Jack, you're yeah. a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then they bring out quote unquote, from the evidence, record. and then someone goes, objection, speculation. Overruled. Overruled. Dude, like, I, I will say, when like, there, yeah, there was a moment where like uh, evidence was brought forward, but it, it wasn't like presented to both the uh, the other lawyers, so it, it uh, you know didn't count. It had to be like stricken, and pretty much like 
the jurors, including myself, were like, forget that, you know, you know that that doesn't count, or you know, I forgot the whole process. But the, everyone knows the technical jarble. Yeah. But I'm saying that I'm like, how can I? That's that, that's footage. How can I forget that? <laughs> he showed it to me. Yeah. And now yeah. you're like, well, like because both lawyers didn't see it first, and they're the, the judge is like, yeah, that first. Yeah. Ignore you it. This is not the footage you're looking for. Yeah. And I'm just they go, like, just ignore this part. No. Wait, Did really... I just ignore that? Like, Crazy. I don't. That's why you gotta have a jury foreman that doesn't fuck around. And or they're the like, yes, we saw the tape of him getting killed. But without that, how do we know? <laughs> how do we know? <laughs> Off Topic is sponsored by BetterHelp. Life can throw some tough choices our way, leaving us feeling uncertain about the right direction. Whether it's about our career, relationships, or anything else, therapy can be the guiding light that keeps us connected to our true desires. Trusting yourself to make decisions that truly align with your values is a skill and it takes practice. And that's often where therapy can really help move forward. Therapy is not just for those who've experienced major trauma. It can help you learn positive coping skills, set healthy boundaries, and empower you to be the best version of yourself. If you're thinking about therapy, BetterHelp is a great option. It's a convenient and flexible online therapy platform that you can fit to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and you'll be matched with a licensed therapist. Plus, if you ever feel the need to switch therapists, you can do it at no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash off topic today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H E L P.com slash off topic. You know it. I'm going to tell you anyway, though. The sun is absolutely brutal this summer. I mean, it's the sun all the time, but this summer, it's like super sun summer. And that's why we all need the best sunglasses to shade our eyeballs. You couldn't tell, but they were under there, under the beautiful Shady Rays. And our friends at Shady Rays have you covered. They offer premium polarized shades at an affordable price, and these are top-notch. I've worn plenty of expensive pairs, but Shady Rays holds its own with durable frames and super clear optics for all of your outdoor adventures. These sunglasses are amazing. They've been mostly glued to my head. And not just one style, I'm going through the styles. They have so many options, okay? But here's the best part. Shady Rays offers the craziest protection in eyewear. Seriously, every pair of sunglasses they sell comes with lost and broken replacements. If you happen to lose or break your shades, even on the very first day, guess what? You don't go and buy another pair like me and give them the nick. No, they'll send you a brand new pair, no questions asked. Talk about peace of mind. You can confidently wear your Shady Rays knowing they got your back long after your purchase. You didn't even know they had your back. It's okay, your back is safe with them. And Shady Rays goes beyond just making great shades. Together with their customers, they're making a real impact through Shady Rays Impact. They support nonprofit partners across the US, making a difference in communities just like yours, from building play sets for pediatric cancer patients to providing unforgettable outdoor adventures for young adults with MS. Shady Rays is all about giving back. Exclusively for our listeners, Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the season. Go to ShadyRays.com and use code OFFTOPIC for 50% off two or more pairs of polarized sunglasses. Try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 250,000 people, but most importantly, me. I will say the thing that was unfortunate is that like after like multiple days, whoever the person that was like the lead for the group. The foreman. foreman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was just like, let's just make a decision. And I was like, what? And everyone's like, yeah, it's, it's been like five days. I'm like, damn, man, this person could go to jail. Yeah. That's why and everyone's just, just like, ah, let's get a decision. How are we all feeling? Let's yep. get out of here. I was like, what yep. the fuck? Well you're, well, you're fucked, right? Because it's like, nobody wants to do jury duty. I mean, yeah. I mean, most people don't want to do jury duty. Um, and so it's kind of like, well, maybe we shouldn't have those people. But then also, you don't want the people that want to do jury duty. Because then it's the reverse. Then they're like, get me in there. I'm going to dispense justice one way or the other. So we really want that for you. We want someone who's just like, well, I don't love it, but I'll do it. That's who you want. <laughs> just, I'll connect it to media, too. I'll get in there. <laughs> guilty, guilty. You're like, no, guilty. No. That's why I can't do jury duty. But I was not paying attention. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Just right. Like, it's like, you say that, and they don't care. That's true. You can say that and go, I I'll freak out, and they go sit down. <laughs> freak out over there. Did you guys ever watch Pepper Man growing up? Pepper Man. Disney. Pepper Man. Oh, Pepper Man. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Pepper. It was yeah. I thought it was too cool for seventh yeah. grade. It's a horror film. <laughs> yeah. Pepper Man is yeah. coming for you tonight. Yeah. There's a whole episode about that exactly, and I love it from a kid's about standpoint. Jury duty. Yes. 
because as a kid, it helped me understand the legal process in America, at least. What is Pepper Ann going to court for? I'll tell you. Who Her mom the horse? goes to jury what? duty. Her mother. <laughs> yes. And there's a case where a guy is getting money out of an ATM, and he turns to face the security camera, and it looks like he spits at the camera. And the whole case is, did he spit on that camera, or was it sweat from his upper lip? And they Wait, have. How did that hit the <laughs> camera? That's a cartoon. Because, because, well, his because he was so like fast. you. He was streaming and he yeah. was. They were going wild. Yes. You know, putting on it the, for the camera at the ATM. Mm -hmm. But and same thing one. happened. The whole jury was like, let's wrap it up. This guy's guilty. And Pepper Ann's mom goes, no, we don't know the facts. And then right. by the end of the episode, everyone's on the opposite end. Guy yeah, walked free. I didn't walk free. do that. I didn't oh. stand up to them. <sighs> You're sick. You let an upper lip sweat man. Hopefully it wasn't a murder trial. It was. <laughs> mm -hmm. He just never told us about it. Yeah, it's big time. He's like, there was evidence. They told me to dismiss it, but the guy clearly didn't kill him. But they told me to dismiss it, so I have to say it. he's you guilty. Can't put it out there on the table and just pull it back and say it doesn't exist. To. It's you crazy. Have to. But you have to. You have to. It's weird that our legal system has rules like a sporting event. Like well, that was a foul play. Flag. Bring that back. <laughs> nope. Okay. Resume. Resume play on this man's future, his life. It's Go true. ahead. And just like, it's in our hands. Yep. It's a little wild. Wow. It's all in our hands and wow. lifestyle. What a wild. Yeah. Incredible. And that's why you should answer your summons for jury duty. Also, they'll get you. Yeah. Yeah, you'll get Stay gone. Up to five days in jail. I'm going to tell you, if I, if someone showed up to my house and said, that's it, you're going to jail. I'd say, I'm sorry. And they're like, 14, 15 years ago, you go to jury duty. I would say, you know what? Gladly. What an experience. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to jail for five days. <laughs> like, are you, you, you think, I would, I would have someone on the outside vlog it somehow. <laughs> I'm going to jail for five days. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send you a camcord in pieces. Here's what I do. Five days. I'm gonna fucking take that place over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be out in the weight machine, and someone just keeps going, it's county lockup. I don't think you understand. I'm taking over. I'm going to walk I'm... in. All right, that's it. New a bunch some... of drunks on the floor. Teach from a drunk tank. I'm going to run this place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I walk in. Where's your, uh, where's your tonal? Where's it at? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. What is? No, what are these heavy not, wheels? Huh? I said jail don't have Tony. You have to make your own. Well, I think I think I think Joe, if I if I pulled a Hannibal Lecter type situation, I'd be in a glass room that would have a tonal in it. Yeah, Instead oh, of yeah. books and oh, yeah. no. intellectual thing. You have to make your own. You have to like tie a bunch of. You can't make your own. You can't make your own. The science just isn't there. And no one else can do it. Goes around. No one else can do it. And then you use the bed. Oh my God! If you could, if you could make your own, unbelievable. You seen people try. You see, I see the ads where Shaq's standing on the board, and he's like, mm. Is that what Shaq's doing? Mm. He has the one where he's like, you pull the yeah, string yeah. come out of the board. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's there's, taking anywhere. There's, there's one shot where he's like, and I'm like, oh, what? okay, Shaq getting paid that money. Is he coming too? Yeah, yeah, it's a board. It's like a small little board, and you just, she has a fucking oh. string. Your weight like, is what <laughs> gives it resistance. You're standing on it. <laughs> I need to watch There are like that. various versions mm. of it. I need to watch the Arnold documentary. I mean, look. Better than nothing. Yeah, better than nothing. It's tiny. If look, you're going to like work out in your hotel. No. Resistance bands. Resistance great... bands do magic. That's a, but that's exactly what I'm saying. Like a jail tonal would be a jail. bunch of spandex in the underwear. It's like, true. You tie it with the waistband and you tie it together. I'm just saying. And then the more and then the more that you tie together in each section, it's like it's getting heavier. I'm just saying that's a jail resistance band. A yeah. tonal is a tonal, and nothing else can ever be it. No. You know what I mean? No. You can't have a makeshift. No. It's impossible. It's possible. Can we three D print the, the tonal? Well, now wait, 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 you're thinking wait, possible. What am I gonna do? Have a, have a makeshift tonal and then use my one call to call Coach Jackson? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And he yeah. goes, I'm in LA still. They're in New York yeah. now. Stop yeah. calling me. Click. No, but you have to sell your commissary and then you have to, you know, then you you have time, you have money to make calls, and then that's what you use it for to call him. It's not one call, you just you keep selling well, the one call money. is when you get arrested. Yeah, right. when you're yeah. In jail. yeah, when you're in jail. Yeah, call. You know, just one off, time. Just sell off a honey. Every, like, every honey bun is five minutes with, with Coach Adonis. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trading a pass. I switched uh, to Adonis, by the way. To talk to huh? Coach Woody. He switched. He was calling Jackson. Oh, sorry. Oh. But to be fair, oh, well, Jackson's not a coach. Honey, is, is two honey buns. Not. I, did, I mean, I, I bet he'd was... still take the call. He'd go, look, I'm not official anymore, but I'll help you out. But like, you know, calling me when you're in jail is the difference between action. And, and being a buster. <laughs> <laughs> he always he just makes a new one up every time. Every time. It's the difference between action and paying your taxes. I'm Coach Jackson. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs>
When I was growing up wrestling, <laughs> playing soccer, When I was growing up, when I was baseball. growing up, my mom told me I had to eat broccoli and I didn't like it one bit. And now I, I like broccoli. Yeah. So do your fucking leg exercises. <laughs> That's what he wants. <laughs> Is that how he, a, he you hypes know, you guys coaches, up? coaches, they tell their stories and stuff like that. Yeah. See, I used to coach, when I did <clears throat> use Tonal, I've taken a little bit of a break, mm. uh, but I used to coach Woody a lot. Mm -hmm. She's a little coach too Woody. positive for some She's, She's bubbly. She's very bubbly. Yes, I like that. I like my coaches to be like, take that, do that, and make sure you don't fuck that up by doing this or that. I like that. I, I can't remember what her catchphrase is. It's she something, goes, something. Whee! No, she end. goes, she goes, Shwee. something, something, and be cool. Yes, yeah. Oh. I can't remember like, what it is. Oh. They, you gotta have one. Oh. <laughs> you gotta have a sign off. If you were a tonal coach, what would your sign off be? Oh, when I'm a tonal coach, I don't know. I have to come up with it. Yeah. Oh, I can't. And also, I can't tell people now because they'll take it. The other coaches oh, will take it. They'll box me out. Wink is, and this is my wink is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're, you have to... <laughs> You better finish that rip or I'm going to give you the dinkus. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> they don't, they don't threaten that? you. <laughs> finish that rip and I'll give you the dinkus. Michael's going to reach to the screen. Look, look. Coach they're, they're more of a, like, good job. Yeah. You did a good job. Yeah, yeah great job. They, Joe's hey, you they accomplished that. that. Yeah. There's yeah. an untapped market here. We need aggressive <laughs> trainers, really aggressive trainers. I bet that's not a market we need more people of. That's probably most trainers. Yeah. Loser, you're a loser. Yeah, you piece of shit. You're welcome. You felt sorry for yourself. <laughs> we start watching King of the Hill again too. Sorry, I, I dude, missed it. I, I've gotten like, you know, I get more. I get more like gym stuff in my like feeds and all that kind of stuff, um, like uh, Instagram and and TikTok and whatnot. Now, now it's like the really bro gym stuff that it's like putting on my shit. I saw one where um, they had four treadmills, right? Uh, two set up looking opposite ways, mm -hmm. you know, and they had that in the line next to each other. Mm -hmm. So you had four, mm -hmm. and they're all facing opposite ways mm -hmm. the, with the tail ends connected. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those treadmills where it has like the little fucking like curve. So you're just, I don't know, you just, it's a fancier treadmill. Okay. I know what you're curve. talking about, yeah. And then it's just four buff dudes running at full speed on these treadmills, but they put resistance bands around <laughs> each other's waist mm. to like Stop. pull on each other. <laughs> I'm like, St what? Just it's, do something else. Right. It's, it's, and, it's, and, and it's just like it's just like real, real <laughs> men work hard. It's like when you're sitting there watching Netflix. I'm like, oh bro, God. too much. Right. Too fucking like Jesus fucking yeah. Christ. I'm like, <laughs> this is recreating the Here We Go Again music video. You know what that's I'm what I'm saying? Saying? That's okay, go. Yeah. That's what that is. And shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you try and do that? I mean, they're, oh, I I'm trying to do that. Other times. Times. I'm yeah. like, what? Yeah, but probably not. Probably not rocking that sleeper build. It's true. No. No. They're they're an obvious threat. Yeah. Too conspicuous. Michael was talking about how, you know, he wanted to look like the dude that was just like super jacked, right? At like a parent meeting or conference or whatever. You, you know, you want to be the dad that like, you know, you catch glimpses and go, whoa, that guy's really fit. That guy's really toned. But and the then TV, so TA. Joe and I were like, oh, that's called a sleeper bill. Mm -hmm. And then Michael's like, wait, what? Is that what mm -hmm. they're called? I'm like, yeah. You ever see the guys that go to the gym and they just have full on fucking sweater on? The pump those, cover, baby. Those motherfuckers. Usually they have sweatshirts, not sweaters. Sweat, sweatshirts. Yeah, like, yeah. My grandma made this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking oh, work yeah. out. It's crazy. It's all these baby. Those motherfuckers that have sleeper bells. Where they, they take that shit off after I tell like 30 you, they're minutes. They're also like, fucking insane. Uh, That's yeah. absolute insanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you want like a, you know, like a sleek build. Do you guys, sleek do you guys work, like working out in hoodies and stuff? I, I, I used to a lot. Uh, absolutely not. I, I loved it. When I was, I don't know why, maybe just because like it felt like it was making me work harder. Mm. Felt like that because it was just yeah. so fucking hot and you were I, sweating. Like, I'll be honest, I, like I feel like I work hard enough in shorts. Yes. I definitely don't need yeah. to put yeah. a sweatshirt yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, like, I you know? like having short shorts. I used to wear basketball shorts all the time, but I like having short shorts. And if I see that my routine doesn't put me lying down on the bench, the shirt's off. Hmm. Yeah, I can't lay on the floor. Yeah. See, the, even the bench doesn't bother me. It's the floor. I can't lay on the floor. I get carpet. Yeah. And I, uh, I got carpet, it's convenient, too. so I never bother with, like, But you're, like, mats sweating, and just carpet feels weird yeah. on your back. But yeah. also, like, I don't want to be, like, sweating and on the bench, because, like, you know, I, like... You drag a little bit, too, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Resistance. Yeah. And because also, I like, you know, like, uh, when uh, little Lexi comes and visits, like she did in RTX, she was totally. She's going to come visit again uh, next month. You visit twice a week for the next year? Yeah, pretty much. And I'm like... Well, I'm just in the neighborhood. Might as well no, use. I don't want to be like, oh, it's my use. sweaty bench. Yeah. Also, get those yeah. hard foam mats that you like. 
Lego on the ground. I was gonna do that. And but I, then I, had, to. I had carpet. Yeah, I have I carpet. Like, I don't need it. Oh, it's okay. I'm in mm. my house. It's even the same thing with. No, you go. I, I do have to agree, like, I'll work out on carpet, but there's something weird about it, and I don't know if it's just, like, even weird oh, sensory yeah. issues. I'm like, yeah. I oh, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it, is, it absolutely is weirder, but the number of times I'm laying down on the floor is so, like, small. Mm -hmm. Like, on my back, on the floor, I just put a shirt on and it's fine. Yeah. Like, like I this morning I was saying I did, like, a quick quick fit, and yep. uh, okay. it had me, and, and same thing, I saw um, one of them was uh, lying bicep curls, Mm. Which I'd done mm. like last week when you lay flat on the ground and you just do. And so I was like, all right, well, I didn't have a shirt on. I was like, all right, I'm gonna have to put a shirt on. And I looked at it, I was like, oh, it's on the bench. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll just, uh, because it's in my house too, I'll almost, I'll, unless I'm gonna like, it's crazy because I plan it if, for legs. If I'm gonna sweat more, I wear pants, I wear the compressions to get the fucking sweat off of me. Oh, yeah, yeah. If I'm not doing legs, same thing. I usually just go in my like compression boxer shorts because it's mm -hmm. like I'm in my bedroom. They're, yep. they're right. already shorts. Why not? Why put something else on and get it no sweaty? Need. Work out near butt ass naked. I'm glad I don't. Do On that, it's just uncomfortable. Yet, I don't do that. I dated a guy in high school whose sister always worked out naked, and it was just kind of weird that every time I visited, there'd be like a warning, like, "Hey, she's working out right now." Weird. Like, noted. That's, that's, weird. That's, that's, weird. that's on a whole different level. Noted. Right? It's also the other the other thing I'll say with tonal though, especially, and you get used to it, doesn't bother me at all. But you gotta wear. I mean, I'll I'll almost always wear a shirt. It'd be insane if I'm gonna do bar. Like for five minutes, who cares? But if I'm gonna exercise, I'm put a, either a sleeveless shirt on or a compression shirt. Um, but it's it's just nice that you could be like, oh, do I need to? No, whatever. Yeah. Uh, with the but sorry, but with the tonal, there's some exercises where the the cables will like run yeah, along yeah, your shoulder. Yeah, I. And you get used to it. I had a little oh, no. bit of a scratch. A burn. That's a little, it little, fr I, little friction. It's the one thing I didn't <laughs> like. Is it happens. It, it felt like. Every exercise, it felt like it was rubbing on it's, the. That's like maybe one or two. I think I it's into. usually the exercises it's where you have a wide yeah. Yeah. grip, but you're bringing your arms closer mm -hmm. together yeah, yeah. because it's just the angle of the wires, right? Because you are pulling it from somewhere, whereas free weights, they're just in your hand. So if you have like a real wide grip and you're going like up or something, they're like, they'll usually runs along like your bicep tricep. Yeah. And I used to have like early on like a bunch of marks and shit. I like never get them anymore because it barely, it, as long as you're not doing like rope burn where it gets I got running rope burn. along. But also it. I like corrected my form because I was You just doing, get used to it. it. Was, I was using the triangles and I was doing a shoulder press mm -hmm. and I was, and I got a little bit of burn and I was like, huh, I bet like they don't get that when they're using it. And then I realized I was, I wasn't going, with shoulder press, I wasn't going up and Back a little bit. Mm -hmm. You got. You want to stick your head forward a tiny bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So just that little movement keeps uh, like keeps it from like shh, like burning. So I guess my bumps and bruises naturally too. And it's funny enough. Like the other day, I was checking. I'm like, where the hell did this happen? So I'm like, Dude, this doesn't happen. bother me anymore. That's yeah. She's just like, especially with the pops. I, it looks like a cigarette. Like, I remember. Right, yeah. I remember. It's right. It's right don't yeah. fuck yeah. with me. Yeah. I remember <laughs> Kai. I I overheard her or like saw her somewhere talking about after RTX like. I got these bruises. I don't know where they came from. I have a bunch of bruises. Like, I remember her talking about that, and I just, like, oh, I just remembered it. And, like, two days later, it was, you know, it was a couple days after RDX, uh, I look at my leg, and there's this giant bruise on my leg. I'm like, I got one, too. Where'd that come from? And I immediately just thought of Kai. And I was like, oh, shit. RTX takes what the fuck its happened? Toll. I'm like, I, this is what happened? I go, literally could not have no idea. It could have been, been anything. It could have been, been, been at, at the games? convention. could have been at night. Could have been any time, anywhere. No yep. idea. No Didn't clue. notice it until today. It's like that cut I got the other day on my leg. We were out. Same thing. I had this like big ass cut on my leg, and somebody's like, "Where'd you get that?" And I was like, "Oh, I didn't even notice it." And then since then, it's bothered me so much. Dude, oh, God, I got shit. stung by a bee for the first time. That was your first time getting stung by a That's bee. The first time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, we're you had all... it coming though. I'm sorry. Yeah, I did. It was a matter of time. We're hanging out by Is the it still pool. out there though. Um. Flying around? No. No. The honeybee. But it was on oh, my yeah. shoulder. Yeah, and I was like, oh, fuck. I'm going to leave it. But they started crawling towards, like, uh, my neck. And I was like, uh, well, I don't want to flick it and piss it off. So I was like, maybe I just kind of, like, dip a little bit so the water kind of gets close and it flies off. Mm -hmm. As soon as, I, like, the water started to, like, rise towards the beat, it went bang and just, like, stung my shoulder. Oh, and man. then I went, oh. And I, like, I, like, wiggled around and I just saw it. Like stuck on, and then I flicked it, mm -hmm. and then I saw it's like stinger, and then so I like pulled it out, and I was like, "Well, 
We're trying to save you. He just scorpion frogged you. Not your fucking. He was riding on you like the frog. You? He's like, why would I kill you? I'll die. Die. <laughs> and then I was like, now you're dead. Yeah. We, like we need the bees. Yep. Yeah. And now I got took that one out. Yep. <laughs> I love how many times I've tried to save bees too. I have a soft spot for animals in general, but insects too. Like Michael has watched me around the hot tub try to save a bee, and then its dumbass will like hop in the hot tub or my beer or something. Mm -hmm. I'm like, now you're dead. Same thing. Like bees want to die. Right. They, they're like I'm squirrels. Like, mm -hmm. They want to go. Just fly away. Now you got Animals and like insects that have no place near water love to just go near water and be mm. killed by like, it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they just love it. Um, luckily, found out not allergic. Yeah. It's good. Well, that's, okay, good. Good. Yeah. that's when I was, that's what I mentioned too, because you were talking about that. I'm like, crazy enough, you can't buy, because someone's like, oh, does anyone have an EpiPen? And I immediately answered, because I looked into it not that long ago. I was like, mm. no, you can't get one unless like it's prescribed. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Which, like, I get, because technically, I think it's adrenaline, mm -hmm. and so you, people can't just be buying it, shooting themselves up with it. But also, it seems like a thing you'd like to have before you need it. Right. That's yeah. me. Oh, That's 100%. my life in general, but also oh, super now for a parent. I, oh, I would yeah. literally start looking into one day going, it'd be nice to have one just in case. Like, oh, shit, mm -hmm. someone's allergic? EpiPen. But you can't get it, so it's like, that quick. Yep. You mm -hmm. find out you need one, do you then we'll give you Do you have one now? I like, don't. No. My sister's, I've gotten one. My sister has an allergy, I, so yeah. I have no allergies. Oh, I have two. I can give you one. Thank you. Are they all the yeah. same, though? Or are they oh, different? Ep no. Epinephrine is the oh, same. It's the same. Regardless. I had like, it when I was doing allergy way. shots. They were like, gotcha. boom, here's two. Don't die. Look, I don't, you know, I don't need to be getting it illegally. <laughs> under the Talk counter. Talk to me evidence. after the show. <laughs> I should but probably get one. But, but like, I looked at it. I learned it. It was like twist, pull, and then... I'm here's like, oh, a, here's okay. the thing too, though, right? If I'm gonna administer it to someone, I gotta try it first, just to know that it's good. So true. first, I'll probably use it on myself, yeah, just to see, true. make sure it's all right. And also, you don't like, then I'll get another one. You don't want it like it's a whole system. You gotta twist it, mm -hmm. pull. It's like a whole stab. thing and stab. Mm -hmm. Like you know, I mean, you gotta I've know. Seen, seen it. It's probably cl close to mine. You ever see someone use an EpiPen backwards before? I'm sorry, no. Up and down. Oh, they went like this and stabbed mm -hmm. their finger. Oh my god! <laughs> I had a friend who what tried. He tried to give me an EpiPen once. That's what I would do. Damn it. Because no. I had been stung by a bee and no. I'm allergic to bees. No. But I should probably go get a retest because I don't know how severely no allergic shot. I am before. When I was a kid, I was like severely, deathly allergic to bees. Hmm. Um, and they... <laughs> but isn't the button on the side that... You put, I don't, how do you do that? The, he, he jammed it so fucking hard that the fucking needle came oh, up the right. top. Again, because like I have an injector for my medication. And it's very much, there's a needle on one side and there's a button on the other side. <laughs> Fucking they fuck just, that up. Did it just have it's it upside down? It's a giant green button. I got no idea, man. I, 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 it. It. I, I believe it. I had it upside down. No, you were just the guy dying. <laughs> I was just As like, your yeah. medicine went away. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> and he went, Did you start sucking it out of his <laughs> cut? Yeah, I started fucking sucking his thumb. And I was like, <laughs> oh, no, I just no, need I mean. a little breath of air. Just a little breath of air. Just a tiny <laughs> breath. Oh my God. Were they, did you have a designated person to administer your EpiPen? I don't think that's how that works. Were they qualified? Okay. No. For, Who's your designated person? For my sister, she asked me. She was like, I want you to, if you're here, I would rather you do it than mom and dad. And I was like, no problem. I would oh, fucking hope it's not the designated person Joe picked. If you were here, you do it. And they fucking did it backwards. No. <laughs> then it is your That's fault. No. If you pick that up. guy, you're like, who do I pick? You're looking at a crowd of being there's just like doctors and lawyers. And there's a guy playing with his own shit. And you're like, you'll give me my shot if I He's need perfect. it. perfect. No. It's, it's, it's sad to say that I think every single time that like there could have been a use for an EpiPen, or that I could have used an EpiPen, I never had one on me. Goodness. Because that's why I wanted one. EpiPens are fucking expensive. They're so fucking expensive. American how expensive are they? Baby. Uh, well, I don't know how they are now, but they were like, I don't know, before it was like with insurance or with, I think with insurance, it was still like 150 per. Yeah. Without mm -hmm. insurance. I believe it. Because really you're not really, really supposed yeah. to be blowing that through. Made, that right? makes sense. Yeah. Right. I, I just ended up doing, yeah. like, paying like a couple grand for allergy testing and shots. And they were like, and you get EpiPens. And so I was like, okay. And it was all in there. I, I yeah, did have happened. to, every time I took my allergy shot, there had to be someone in the house. And I had oh. to tell them that I was taking the shot. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just in case. Makes sense. Yeah. They didn't tell me that. Oh. Well, but shit. I'm also not taking an allergy Also, shot. like, some dermatologists like just think it's wild that like some other dermatologist will send you home with like the vial and like needles mm -hmm. to, yeah. to, to, like, to administer your Minister own yourself. shots. Mm -hmm. They're like, what? And I'm like, I don't know. They just said, boom, here you go. Every time, every time there's like five vials I have to go through, every time there's a new vial, I go in, 
they give me the shot on the new vial. I'd wait there and I'm like, you're good. And then I go home with it and then I just take my shots. But other dermatologists were like, that's wild. They let you do that? I'm like, I don't know. So I was just I thinking, just... I'm like, I can't think of any, like, I mean, I, the only medical also expertise like I have. in like once a week. I mean, I'll be honest. Yeah. I'll be honest. I'm with the dermatologists right. that give it to you. Yo, if you're a big boy and you can do it yourself, you do it. If you don't want to drive here I think every it's week, it's liability. It's that's not like, a liability. No, no, it's, it's up to you. I mean, that's yeah. your choice. What are you right? talking yeah. about? If you what if you have insulin? Practice, administer, it's you're not administering <laughs> shit. Not you gave a patient their medication. Yeah. People, people are trained all the time to give themselves injections. Mm -hmm. I can see if you're like, I'm a fucking moron. What do I do? And they say, fuck you, you're on your own. But like when I got mine, my dermatologist was like, do you want to come here every month or do you want to just send them to your house? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, well, it's a process. And same thing, like they did the first one there. Yep. And so I had two. But fortunately, it's just, it's literally a cap and a button. Like there's, yeah. it's all, it's automatic. Mine's and so, baby needle. and so they gave me one, they did it. And then, cause I had to do two when I first started it. And they're like, here, you do this one. Mm. And then I did it, and they're like, what do you think? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I don't need to drive here every yeah. month. Absolutely not. Yeah. And it ships to my house. Like, I don't even have to pick it up. That oh, rules. Easy. Yeah. Uh, real needles, I don't know if I'd be able to do it. I mean, but that's just me. Per like, if Lindsay could, I would absolutely yeah. let them do it, not go to the I doctor. I can, I will. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, well, it was real, like <laughs> real baby needles. And they're like, just, yeah. just squeeze your stomach and then just. That's exactly where I do it. Same and then thing. they're like, they, four if, days... you, if you pinch it and you shake it, yeah. it hurts less. It hurts less. And they're like, you know, four days later, do another Same shot, thing. do it the other, the other side. side right <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh -huh. cool. It was cool, though, was that, like, when we took uh, Liam to, uh, our, uh, to the vet, they're like, oh, like, his hip's pretty bad. We got to start doing, like, shots for him. Um, and she, she was like, do you know how to do it? I was like, oh, I do allergy shots at home. And she was like, oh, that's wild. Another person was like, that's crazy. Let you do that. And then, but she was like, oh, then you know what to do. And I'm like, yeah. And then I was like, Jack, the missus is a nurse. We're all good. But she was like, all right, let's just I'm see guessing you do it. it's and more. And I was like, boop and boop. And I was like, and then I squeezed his little top into a triangle. Went, and then he went, oop. I'm guessing it's more like that that you're not getting it done because of the reaction, right? Like I can't imagine it's the needle that they're like, oh, I can't believe you do it at home. It's no, probably it's like the, it's the 15 reaction. minutes. Where yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah. You should wait or whatever. Where they're just like, but, oh, because I mean, yeah, it, I mean, it, you never like, know. It, it, like, exactly. You never know when you're like up the dosage and it like could be bad. Because I mean, there were, was a couple of times where like I got a new vial, uh, got the shot, it's totally fine. Take the shots, totally fine. But like once I get towards like I don't know the middle or the end of like the dosage, you know, you keep increasing how much you put in, uh, where I get like a little whelp, and I'm like, oof, and then take a picture yeah. to them, and they're like, that's good. Yeah, I get that <laughs> randomly, and I always have the same amount. Obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like mine's set. Um, most of the time, I don't. Uh, sometimes, yeah, it'll be like a little yeah. whelp. Yeah, but, but boy, like I stopped after like my fourth vial because I just got like. Well, it's a little often, so I was like, ah. Eh. But man, it worked like a charm. Like I went, I got tested, and they're like, no bumps there. And they're like, you see all the bumps here? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, that's everything outdoors. That's grass, that's trees, that's pollen, that's leaves. I was like, fuck. And then I had high bumps for like uh, cats. And then it's like a, on a scale of like one to 12, 12 being the highest, I was like a four for dogs. I'm like, oh, okay. And then I just got to, I, I described this already. I got to pick like five different things that I want in my vial. So I was like, dogs. It's like a smoothie. Yeah, it was like a smoothie. Mm. And then like. Put dogs in my out. vial, put yeah. grass in my vial. Cat fur was like <laughs> a seven. Cat pelt was like an 11. So I was like, let's do the dogs. Let's do one of the, the, the worst cat thing, the cat pelt. And then I was like, give me the two grasses and then like the cedar trees, which are like pretty bad here in the winter. Mm -hmm. And when I was taking that, Great man, it was absolutely. I've yet great. to develop the Texas allergies. I'm jealous. I'm hoping I don't oh. develop them. I've been here my whole life, and they're awful. And like, I keep. I even went in for testing. I have my results. I'm just an mm. asshole, and I put it off and put it off and put it off. Brady was like, "You should do it." You can it's do great. the. I mean, if anything, you, you can do the little drops too. I want to do those too. Yeah. Like, I mean, I feel like at this point, I should just go. Like, and I know my allergies are so fucking bad. I'm like, just do it, please. Like, make this stop. I don't want to do. I don't have any allergies. Not at least any like major, like known allergies, <laughs> right? Like, like I mean, actually, like. To me, there's like, I understand they're all allergies, but like, I'm allergic to peanuts. I'm allergic to bees, and I have seasonal allergies. I guess yeah. it's, I guess seasonal is the key word there. I don't have any allergies. I don't think I have seasonal aller allergies. I never had them growing up, and like, you know, sometimes when it's real shitty here, but I, I think that's almost a human level. Like, yeah. you're a human being, and there's shit everywhere. It's not even an allergy. So I don't need that. What I would like to do is start taking shots for shit that everyone is 
not susceptible to. Just like, oh, take the shot and you can't get burned. <laughs> That's what I want to do. It's like, oh, I am actually immune to burns oh, now. What? You know what I mean? Like, if we can do it for allergies. Mike, Michael's looking, look, Michael's looking for the Captain America. That's what I'm just saying. Right. Like, <laughs> like, you got allergies for, for stuff that you should be oh, immune wait, to. Wait, what, about aller what about what allergy medicine occasion for stuff that you shouldn't be immune uh, to? But we've I don't think anyone's anyway. allergic to burns, Michael. Look, regardless. If we can reverse burn <laughs> hey, the sun, though. Low, yeah. low air like, pressure, we'll pump it on the planes. <laughs> we figured it out. Get it in me. Where's my nanobot micro trip? It's like, bro, take this shot. You can breathe underwater. How do you like that? So I love it. In theory. Oh, uh, man, when I could breathe underwater last year, it was great. I don't take it anymore, but I could for a while. Yeah, yeah, for That's a while. When I, like, I think, I think I'm going to put it in my vial, breathe underwater, levitation. They don't have flight, but you could levitate like a foot off the ground. That's yeah. cool. Put oh, that in there. Yeah. Um, I can make allergic people to dogs is something I want. Make allergic people to dogs. Yeah. Make allergic people to dogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And that's it for now, I think. So I like, in your description, you're like, I want these. We just have to think of it medically. We have to reverse the effects. So you want lighter bones for levitation, temporarily lighter bones. No, I don't want lighter bones. Damn Whoa. you. Whoa. you you'd have Damn lighter you. bones, but the density is 10 times stronger, actually. So you're Whoa, getting the best of both technology. worlds. Yeah, give me mm -hmm. that, too. Yeah. Sign me up for that. And then sign me up for every pump is like I'm coming. Put that last. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> this is how we round out the show. Yeah. Oh, so every every it's pump. Like yeah, it's like when you yeah, get the pump. This is how we round out the show. Yeah. We go back to where yeah. we started yeah. before the show started. Before yeah. the show. Before the Joe's yes. hair. They call yeah. it the cup shop. Yeah. 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 Well, I was telling Michael, I was like, have you ever seen the, you know, Arnold's Arnold Schwarzenegger documentary Pumping Iron about him and his journey? What made him famous? What made him famous? Well, know? I mean, you know, being Mr. Universe, Mr. Universe, Mr. Universe or oh, something like Mr. Olympic. Uh, uh, that made him famous. But then they made the documentary. Yeah, because they're like, this guy's huge. Like, never seen it. And this he's is like, pre no. pre acting. Yeah, this and movie. I was like, there's a, I think it was like seventy like, seven or something. Yep. Right? Because it was yeah. before Terminator. Yes. That was like his first big acting role, yeah. and also why he had six words in the entire movie. Oh yeah. The first Terminator didn't say shit. Because it's a monster movie. Well, it's also because he's a fucking bodybuilder. And right. He's just not an actor. Also, I think they didn't want the accent. True. Or at least, man, I don't, I don't fucking. Obviously, they didn't give a shit by the John sequel. Connor, John, but, but obviously, John, early on, Connor, they got down. him because fucking look at him and he's Mr. Universe. Not because they're like, yeah. this guy's gonna deliver no. some great lines. Well, look at him when you transport him in, butt ass naked. He's gonna look he's great. A robot and he's, he doesn't need. He action. does. And then you know, there's just footage in the documentary of him being real young, you know, still working out, bodybuilding, and he's like very excited. <laughs> very excited. It's not like it's not even like in any way, shape, or form creepy. It's, it's just him it's, being really it's happy. oddly wholesome. He's very, just like very it's him sharing the light of yeah. exercise and like, what a pump and what a pump like. and he's like every time i get the pump it's like i'm coming and so he's like and it's like he's like i'm like coming all the time he's like i'm backstage and and i get the little pump in it's he's like, like yeah like, i put coming. on a show for five thousand people, people and i'm, I'm coming I'm coming and i'm like i'm coming all the time he's like it's like i'm coming all day and night <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, like, i'm coming all day and night and i'm like it's just he's just genuinely happy and i go like, he likes and i, I go, like working out and a pump to me is just just like coming like, oh and he's like but he was I ahead to, of the time. I get a, I get a pump anywhere publicly, and it's totally fine. But yeah. inside, and like people cheer me on for it. Yeah, <laughs> and so that is what we were talking about. That is how you pump iron. Yeah, and just pump. Yeah, you just get that feeling. It's more than it's a feeling. Blood real, rushing to your biceps. Real pump and dump. <laughs> the golden age. That is the, the golden age of pumping. They call it. That is. They call it. That is the golden age of bodybuilding. Why? Hmm? Why? Because it was just traditional slanging and banging weights. It was just, but like, I just like basics and reps. But I'm just saying it doesn't really make sense to attribute to golden. It. Golden means like it was the best. Well, because it was. Probably because everyone was coming all the time. I'm just yeah. saying. I would argue the technology is pretty good now. Uh, technology is good. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just. Maybe, maybe it's, it's because it's people though. were doing it for better reasons. Than it sounds right. like it's the golden age, aka like we liked it better back then, and we don't like yeah. change. Now look, it's I'm not saying easy. everybody should have a box you should stand on with, you know, stretchy armbands. I understand comparing that to like the golden age. Not that it doesn't work. Again, mm -hmm. if that's all you're doing. That's, don't let anybody knock you for exercising in any way, shape, or form. But I'm sure there are aficionados. There are, there are people who like love the classics, and that enrages them. Yeah. Where like people run around with stretch bands. I'm sure there are people that just despise resistance bands. Oh, sure, more, more it's so, not like it used yeah. to be. More so nowadays, people are just despising like um, fitness influencers. Because the, the big thing that they're trying to do is just overcomplicate workouts. Or they're just like, oh, okay, like 
I'm going to do right. you know, your there's, traditional there's, like bent over row row like this, but they're like and but, then there's just like they're like, yeah, but they're like add a 25 pound weight to your lower back. To or, you, or you mean the thing you already explained? Just like yeah. two yeah. men running on treadmills against yeah, each other. Yes. That's right. insane. I'm just like, what like you, that's just a thing that you do if you're Jesus at that level. Christ. You don't show people <laughs> right. this is what you do. That's you crazy. You don't show people and be like, yeah, while well, you're doing nothing, we're in the gym. Going hard. I'm like, oh, you're just being ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Have you seen? I'm sure you have. It's a, it's a, I think it's a gif, but it's somebody doing something like that. And they're on like, they're on like a pull up bar with their arms over it, but they're holding a bike and they're like, exit, <laughs> they're pedaling on it. They're like eight feet in the air, like dangling by their armpits and they're holding an entire bike and they're just like riding in the air. That's awesome. I love it. Did you ever see the video where the guy ties himself up with a bunch of resistance bands and he's like swinging in a squat rack and he's going, whoa. <laughs> no. What are talking about? No, it's awesome. It's amazing. No. We're going to get to the point in fit fitness oh, influencers that's where that's going to be the real exercise. <laughs> Dude, See, that's they, fine, because I feel like that's, wild you want to be a shit. dumbass, not an influencer. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. If you're going to be an influencer, which also is just such a stupid word, but like, it, it it's a made up nonsense word when you say like, I'm an influencer. It's like, what do you do? It's like, I influence. Right. It's just this vague, a trainer makes sense. You're a trainer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm a, influencer is like, to me, like a, like a, like an actual influencer is like, I have a thing, I have a profession, or I have a hobby, or whatever. I know what I'm talking about. And then I use social media to kind of like promote myself and share advice or whatever. Yeah. That you're talk like that makes sense to me. People are an influencer. It's like, well, how an influencer, what's the difference between an influencer who is a trainer on whatever social media, da, 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 and you go to the gym and listen to your trainer? Yeah. You're still doing what they tell you, but it's just, it's such a line of you never know are you going to get like an actual trainer giving actual right. influence mm -hmm. or you have like an influencer who wants to be an influencer and they're like i don't know i guess i'll just say some shit about exercise because right. i kind of exercise sometimes right yep. and you really just kind of much like amazon reviews you just got to dig through and be like what's the real story right. is this a exactly. or is me, I, I need a lot of information then i can boil it down or for me influencing is one like we jackie and i go out to eat she's like oh i want mod pizza and i'm like well if we go to panera you can get that sandwich you like and then the side salad which I know you enjoy. She's like, let's go to Panera and I go, boom, influence. <laughs> mm. <Man> nice. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> like, manipulation, but not. Well, I'm just getting uh, what she wants. If you want. Yeah, right. Yeah. There's been called being around. considerate. Anyways, yeah. I found the video. Oh my God. What the <laughs> Uh, Joe, show it to the camera video a little bit. I've never seen one. I like the idea of, of them watching it through that. That is what the fucking fuck, wild. <laughs> well, oh, well thanks for watching. <laughs> off topic. We'll Here, be back next sign week. Sign off from this guy. Make sure you hear. That is the golden age of fitness right there. Hang on. <laughs> He's, he's coming. He's getting a pump. It's like he's coming. <laughs> <laughs>